Hi guys, this is episode 7. This episode is about us trying a different way. A different pathway. Yes. So this pack is what they call a student pathway. Yes, you heard it right. We have uh, lots of options to choose which country we want to, to take our student pathway. So, in order for our TR points to improve, we need to do something. So, since we choose Canada, we need to have a Canadian education and a Canadian work experience. So, the only way is to go for a student pathway. Yes, one of us will, will be studying in Canada. While the other one is working. Yes, and the other one is staying. Sitting around. <laughs> So on uh, the last part of 2020, we are we are still pregnant with Riley, and I saw some ads about uh, about PR migration. So we are we were thinking that oh, it's about more than two years already that we stopped trying to apply for a PR. Uh, no, it's almost one year that we stopped applying for a PR, and. Um, why not we try again? And even though our Australian PR is still pending, because it's COVID, um, we don't have any... Anywhere to go. Yes. There's nowhere to go while we're waiting. We try, we try it hard. Yeah, so we saw this agency and we got... Um, we went to their office and got an interview. Not really interview, a discussion about our pathway. Because, of course, we still want to try PR. Even though we got a lot of rejections for the past couple of years, um, as after they assess our qualifications and experience and you know previous applications, they suggest to have a student um, pathway in Canada. They asked us actually which country. Of course, we want Canada. That's our first first choice ever since. We already have all the required documents. Uh, we just need to update some of them and the most one of the requirements is very hard to achieve that time which is the money part yes the proof of funds oh you're saying daddy how about mommy you're just saying mommy when you cry so yeah going back we needed a, a, a proof of funds which is uh, it's so expensive for the three of us in one app it's very expensive plus the tuition fee no you're not allowed to use a phone no baby no are you taking a selfie <laughs> oh yes she's taking a selfie <sighs> she's not allowed to hold the phone but with this video Okay, I will just allow specifically on this timing. Okay, you're not allowed, baby. So okay, um, that's that's one of the problems. So we have to come up with a proof of funds, and it took us about three months. Uh, no, five months, right? Five months. Actually, we need to prepare the proof of funds as early as possible because we need to have a bank statement at least six months that our agency. Um, required so that's why we waited until the first quarter of this year to be able to launch our application of course there's a lot of hiccups um, from the from October 2020 to March 2021 there's a lot of hiccups especially those documents that suddenly requires us by our agent and it will it was so hard to process those documents in the Philippines it was a very challenging moment and you know, uh, and at the same time, we deliver Riley in Singapore, which is so much expensive because <laughs> we can't go home. Because if we choose to go home to give birth, tendency one of us will lose our job. So we don't want that. That's why we spend a lot of money to deliver here in Singapore. And at the same time, prepare the proof of funds. Yes, it was tough. It was so tough. We are able to launch our application on. 14th April 2021 Guys, I turned off the phone 
on the next day, we received a request for biometrics. Mm, yes. So it, it feels like a positive uh, start. <laughs> yes. So we booked the uh, biometrics. Then we were able to submit it right away. The next um, update that we receive is the medical request on mm -hmm. which date? Um, that would be 11 May 2021. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so we called. We immediately. Actually, we first received the medical request for her. Only for. Her. Only for her. So and we booked the medical appointment for three of us already her. because we suspect that all of us, of course, need to have a medical exam. And because the the available slots for medical exam is limited. Yes, the the schedule that we got is two weeks from two weeks from eleven. 11th May. So imagine the waiting period. I mean for that after we did the medical exam, we waited for another week to be able to get the result and for the hospital to send it to IRS. And then after that, we didn't get any of it. So imagine the waiting period again. But our agent said it, it is already in a positive uh, status because they they requested a medical exam but of course for us as long as we didn't see any visa approval it's a no-no and of course um, we waited for a month or so 14th July 2021 we received the approval yes <laughs> so finally this episode is not a sad story guys so yeah we received the approval uh, I mean not really I mean we received also the request Yes, so it was like, what? It's, it's, it was like 1 a.m. in Singapore. So we were just, you know, just browsing and just doing stuff. He suddenly checked his email and then he saw the agent's email to us, the document asking for a passport request for visa stamping. Oh my god! Before that day, we were, I was so, I was so bummed and just praying so hard that God give this to us for the last time because this is, this will be our last shot because we don't know where to go anymore. Especially we, we have Riley already and we want to have a, a better future for her. So that's why we took this risk to do the student pathway. Luckily, we got approved. Yeah. Yes, you heard it right. We got approved. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was so, so, so excited. Yay. able to move and start a new journey or a new life, a new chapter with Riley in Canada! <laughs> and yes, we are leaving Singapore for good. So after almost nine years in Singapore, we will be moving on to another country. Yes, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So the first year of Riley is in Singapore. Yes, <laughs> our lucky charm. We really can't wait to tell everyone how excited we are and how how excited. Yes, baby, I know you're so excited as well. <laughs> and we want to share our real life experience. We're almost done. We're almost done packing our stuff. And yes, we resigned. Siege. Yeah. We resigned from our work in Singapore. <laughs> That's the hardest part. Imagine both of us doesn't have a word and we have a baby. And moving to another country, it will be a leap of faith. So God will just guide us. <laughs> we just got an approval from any of our applications when she came to our life. So yeah, next month we will be um, leaving Singapore, which is December 2021. So this will be the end of our episode in our mini series about our migration journey. And it's a happy story! And a new beginning. So thank you guys for watching all... Yes! Thank you guys for watching all the episodes in our mini-series. And if you haven't, please watch the episodes. <laughs> and don't forget to like, subscribe,
subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll get notification whenever I post a new video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Mwah. Okay.